we now have some very useful tools in terms of organizing the schematic layout. First, the overall sort. Height width will sort the hierarchies in terms of tallest to shortest. Width height in terms of widest to the most narrow. By type will put the cameras first followed by the lights and then the other 3D objects. Finally, none is based on the order of creation. When we move branches and nodes around, the nodes are automatically framed. This means that even if we execute the rearrange command, the position of these nodes will stay intact. To force a complete rearrange in order to revert to the original layout, we first have to reset the affected elements. Then the rearrange command will have an effect. To force a rearrange on the whole schematic view, the reset all positions command from the view menu must first be executed. Using the I shortcut key, we can easily reorder hierarchies in a more permanent way. The rearrange command will not reorder the new layout. The same applies for any branch or nodes further down a tree. Another way of doing this is by using freeze root or child ordering. If we move a scene root node or hierarchy, then we can execute the freeze root node ordering command. The overall sort needs to be set to none for this command to be available. An equivalent command exists in the contextual menu for freezing subnodes. It's the freeze child ordering command. Finally, memo cams are now available in the schematic view to quickly access different views of the schematic layout.